The M1 MacBook Air has finally solved a lot of problems that people have been having with previous Intel models, but with no new design changes and very few upgrades from last year's model, should you wait for the M2 MacBook Air? Hello everyone, my name's Mike and here at Tech Moon, we uncover tech at home and in video. So hit that subscribe button if you wanna see more. The Apple Silicon M1 chip in the MacBook Air has been game changing as it's got a lot of performance and that is unheard of in a Mac like this. But Apple has removed the fan from the Intel versions of the MacBook Air. This really annoys me because we would have seen cooler and faster performance similar to the M1 MacBook Pro. And it's not like they couldn't have done it because they've had a fan in the previous model for years and the one time that it would actually make a difference they removed it just to hinder it in the long-term performance so that it would drive more sales to the MacBook Pro. But anyway, this is not what this video is about. <laughs> There's a link to my review on the MacBook Air M1 down in the description below, but the overall performance has been super impressive for me. In almost every task, it beats the high-end MacBook Pro 13-inch model and trades blows with the 16-inch. Overall, for most people, this hits the nail on the head. It's quieter and faster than almost every every Windows laptop that I've ever tried in this category and price. But some potential customers gave this model a miss because the design and features haven't changed much, if at all. The M1 MacBook Air shares the same design for the past three to four years, and there isn't really anything bad about that, but Apple has been moving towards this square design across their iPhone, iPads, and even the XDR Pro display. People want to see this design migrate over to their Macs, and the rumors are are that the new 2021 MacBook Air will have this new redesign. It will potentially still feature the same wedge shape, but be less rounded at the bottom, and the screen will be more squared off too. The M2 MacBook Air will potentially feel more modern, and if you are someone who does keep their MacBooks for six, seven plus years, it might age better than the current models. Just like if you bought the 2017 MacBook Air, it still has the same design three to four years on, so it still looks more modern. I hope that that makes sense. Next up is the webcam. Right now, Apple has slapped a band-aid on the current 720p camera by improving the image signaling processor to give a better image, but it still doesn't look as good as that 1080p camera that we see on that iMac 27 inch. So will we see this in the next generation? Well, right now, the rumors are a little bit thin on the ground with this particular topic, but drop a like on this video if you want Apple to give us a 1080p high quality webcam in the MacBook Air. The screen will be similar to the current model where we'll see a 13.3 inch screen with a PPI of 227 and the wide P3 color that we've seen in the brand new M1 MacBook Air. We will still see a max brightness of 400 nits, which is still 100 nits lower than the M1 MacBook Pro, but for 90% of situations, it's bright enough. And the main difference really with that screen in the new 2021 MacBook Air will be that it will have slightly thinner bezels. Now the M2 chip inside the MacBook Air will potentially stay the same with the amount of CPU and GPU cores, maybe getting a base model of uh, an eight core GPU this time instead of just the seven core, but potentially it will be around 20% faster if we look at previous upgrade cycles. Now, what does this mean for everyday today performance? Well, not much as the M1 is fast enough for almost every office worker or student, for example. For short bursts of performance, it will be noticeably quicker, but when it comes to longer tasks like rendering or compiling large coding projects, I worry that if we still don't see a fan, I think it will throttle the same way that we see in the M1. There are rumors that we'll see MagSafe being implemented, so the return of MagSafe, but it's not like what we've seen with the iPhone 12 or anything like that. It's not gonna be wireless charging. What it will be is it will still feature a magnetic connection, but it will be similar to what we find with the smart connectors on the iPads and there are rumors out there that the design will be similar to the old model, just be a little bit more modern. Currently, the M1 MacBook Air can be configured up to 16 gigabytes of unified memory and two terabytes of internal SSD storage. And 
This isn't going to change for the M2 MacBook Air, unfortunately. If you need to get more than that, you are going to need to wait for the rumored M1X 14-inch MacBook Pro or go for the 16-inch MacBook Pro when it's updated with Apple Silicon. So the big question is, should you wait for the M2 MacBook Air or should you buy the M1 MacBook Air right now? Look, the design is going to look nice, but realistically, the performance of the M1 MacBook Air is so good right now. If you need a laptop right now, this is going to be a great one. This has almost all the performance that you're gonna need and faster than anything that I've seen from a MacBook Air. If you are waiting for a MacBook Air that is going to be much faster than what we currently see, then you're just going to be disappointed. The only benefit of waiting for the M2 MacBook Air is that if you are someone who potentially needs a second display, as right now the M1 MacBook Air can't work with two displays just right out the box. So for you, it might be worth it. Now, not dismissing the redesign. The redesign might be better for those who are looking for a MacBook Air long-term as it will age well in terms of looks. If you have an older Mac, let's say from 2015 or before, then I would just say get an M1 MacBook Air as it's so much quicker and the design is so much nicer than what you've probably got already. Even though it doesn't have a fan, extended loads are still much faster than my MacBook Pro 2015 by about two to three times. So the M1 MacBook Air performance is really good and smokes my older models for sure. Now, if you have an older Mac MacBook from let's say 2016 or newer, then I would say wait a little bit as it might be worth you waiting to jump up to a new redesign as well as a new performance category as well, as you will see this sort of um, be of benefit in another three to four to five years at least. The pricing will stay the same at $999 or $899 with a student discount. So if you are lusting over a cheaper MacBook Air, then you might be out of luck. But another thing to mention is that right now the M1 MacBook Air has a whole bunch of discounts, especially on Amazon. And as time goes on, these discounts do tend to get better and better. So by the time the M2 MacBook Air rolls out, you might pick up an absolute bargain with the M1 MacBook Air. And trust me, you're not losing out on much, if anything at all. But there we have it. As always, this is a discussion. So please leave a comment down below on whether you picked up the M1 MacBook Air right now, or if you are going to wait for the M2 MacBook Air and your reasons why. Also, check out the links down in the description below to support the channel. If you haven't already, please follow me on Twitter and Instagram at TechCarMoon. Drop me a like on this video if you've enjoyed it and hit that subscribe button if you want to see more. But if you want to see more from me right now, you guys know what to do. I've got two fantastic videos you are absolutely going to enjoy. So click on them right now. Anyway, everyone, look after yourselves and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.